fought back from 15 down, had a one point lead. It was tied late. You kind of shortened the game like you wanted to. What, what, what in your eyes happened after that? Um, it's, it's hard to win versus really good teams when you get down in a hole like that. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of effort uh, to dig ourselves out of those, those holes. Um, and teams like that, they're really good at scoring back to back to back. And we didn't do a good job of getting stop scores on our end. Um, if we're not scoring, they can't score. And I think they just did a good job of moving the ball, um, knocking in open shots, and we have to uh, be better at making the shots when we're open. Um, you had that, that steal with about five minutes left in the third quarter, went down, got fouled, made both free throws, um, really got the crowd kind of back into the game there. Um, just how important do you think, you know, being able to make plays like that when your team just really needs something to kind of help get them going? Do you, do you look to be more aggressive in, in situations like that? Yeah, I, I think it's big for us. Um, I think that's why a lot of times I try to pressure the ball um, up the court, even if it's just getting them into their – offense later in like 16 seconds instead of 20 seconds or something like that. But um, when you can get those type of energy plays, it gets the crowd going, um, it gets the bench going, our team it gets more hype, gets more involved. Uh, so for me, it's just about really being aggressive on both ends um, and making those plays happen more often. Uh, and then just to be able to help Rachel get going, be able to find her, seek her out mm -hmm. when, when she's making all those shots, just how much confidence does it give you know, you and your teammates just as an offense to feel like, you know, we can weather whatever storm we're going through. Oh, it's huge. I mean, Rachel's a scorer. We know that. And any given night, she can come out and do what she did today. Um, super proud of her for the way she played. I think she handled the pressure really well. Um, she read the defense coming off. If they gave her a shot, she pulled up. She had some really nice passes. A uh, really nice no look to seal. Um, she just had a really good, complete overall game. And it sucks when you have a player who works so hard. They have a game like that and we don't win. And that's kind of what hurts the most for me because Rachel, every single day, um, she she's always in my ear talking to me, congratulating me when I do something well and that I wanted her to get that win today. But um, we're going to keep building on that and, and we got to be better for Sunday. You guys came in off of a huge uh, win over Dallas. Were you surprised that the team was so, I, I would say, kind of lackadaisical at the beginning? Uh, yeah, we have to be better. You can't start games like that ever, and especially when you're playing uh, versus the Aces. You know, they're, they're going to come in making shots. And, you know, the thing is, if you go back and look, we had open shots. We missed them, and they were making theirs. So what are you going to do? If the ball goes in, you're going to lose. You know, And we have to be better at um, knocking in those open shots. And if we're not knocking them in, making sure we're playing better defense, that they're not just getting off like that.